Hey everybody. So we're focusing on the human life cycle in this video. So think back to primary school, you probably learnt about life cycles, particularly talking about insects. Because remember insects, or many species of insects, have a larval stage and then they make a cocoon or a chrysalis and then they transform into an adult form during metamorphosis. Just like butterflies, um, lots of other species do that too. But you can really talk about the life cycle of every species because when species reproduce, there's a change in the number of chromosomes they have. And it's a really useful way of comparing different species by looking at their life cycles. So in humans, if we're thinking about the number of chromosomes, well, while we're adults, all our cells are diploid. So the main stage of life in humans is a diploid phase. So we have a diploid stage because from the instant that we start our life as a zygote um, in, our in our mother's uterus, our cells all have two copies of every chromosome, so we're diploid. And then as our bodies grow into a whole human, we're diploid until we get to reproduction again. So that means um, meiosis is the process that makes our diploid body cells become haploid again. So in females, in your ovaries, you've got parent cells that are diploid and then they undergo meiosis and they release your egg cells, which are haploid, as we know. And in males, in the testes, they make sperm cells, which are haploid too. So this stage of the human life cycle, as our life's continuing as either an egg or a sperm, that's haploid. So you can think of it as a stage of the life cycle. Where life's continuing as haploid life. And then it's not until the sperm and the egg join together again during fertilization to make a new human that we go back to the diploid stage. So fertilization, that's the other process that goes back to diploid. So you can see that the human life cycle is alternating between the diploid stage and a haploid stage. Okay, so it's a pretty simple concept, uh, but if you compare it to other species, um, some species, a lot of species have a haploid and diploid stage too, particularly plants, but in some plant species, they actually have a whole organism that grows in the haploid stage. So there's actually two completely different looking organisms as part of their life cycle. Uh, and that's particularly true for ferns and a few other species as well. Um, and it's a useful way of comparing life cycles and species. <laughs> 